the topic of the mixing of breeds is uh, well beyond explosive right now. <clears throat> well beyond explosive because it is being addressed to the point to where it's almost like why. Everybody wants to know why. Some of the people wants to wants to know just why. Why are you taking and destroying the American bully dog from what it was? Some people want to know why are you taking and destroying the French bulldog from what it was? People just want to know why now. Um, as far as anybody trying to hide something, there's no more hiding. There's no more hiding the fact of what we got going on today, which is the mixing of bully breed dogs. It's a lot of people that are totally against the mixing of French Bulldogs and English Bulldogs have been totally against the mixing of French Bulldogs and English Bulldogs and the American Bully Dog. And now you're starting to hear, well, it was necessary for the Bulldog to be in there to take away some of the drive out of the dogs, to take away some of the drive out of the dogs. That means it's not a bully no more because you just took some away from it, you know. And then when you when you added it, you made it shorter. You brought in the wrinkles. You brought in the feet. You brought in the small tails. Those were possibly like, you know, first generation dogs that look like that. Over the duration and time, the American bully was continued to be mixed, but those mixed dogs were, were now coming together too. The F1s were being bred to the F1s to create new dogs, which they did. They created new dogs. And when they created these new dogs, the new dogs got bigger. We wouldn't say bullier because how can you say a dog is bullier when he don't act like a bully? How can you say that? The dog is bullier when he don't act like a bully. I mean, now you can't really compare the old school dogs to the new school dogs. There's no comparison because the old school dogs had more drive. They just was, they were able to pull things, you know, just a little bit better. I ain't going to say that these new extreme dogs can't pull because they probably could, could pull. But they were able to pull just a little bit better with a body built like a staffy, with a body built like a pit bull. When you started blending, which I like the blends, you know, everybody got to like the blends now because you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. It just ain't going to be no more razor's edge unless you're just a razor's edge breeder. That's just going to breed pure razor's edge. Other than that, the masses are ready to turn the game over. By breeding these bulldogs into the bully, you cause them to get fatter. You know, they 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 uh have a little bit heavier breathing, but some of them are cute because let me tell you, they have colors. The colors also came from different dogs, such as the man pen. I know a lot of people want to exclude that miniature pincher, but I just cannot because there is no other way that that trigene could have came about unless you bred it. Now, everybody probably didn't breed it, but somebody did. A few people did. And from those breedings came these dogs. It's only right in front of our face. We can only see it right in front of our face. Now we're talking about it right in front of yours. So after they bred the... uh. The miniature pincher and got that gene in there. Then, you know what I'm saying? The mixing of other dogs started coming on too. Like the Pekingese. Like the Yorkie. I just knew people were breeding that Yorkie in there. I just knew they were. You know what I mean? Like, like the Yorkie. Uh, like the Dachshund. The Dachshund carries... Now these dogs, the Dachshund carries a Harlequin. But these dogs were being bred to American bullies behind closed doors just to get specific colors. 
because we, we can't get the colors that are on the American Bully from American Bully. You cannot get the colors that you see now on the American Bully from the older American Bully. There had to be been a cross. Now, we already know because the cross is, is out there. Even if you didn't want to believe it, they out there. You know, you just didn't want to believe it. You were being told that these are crossed up dogs. No, this ain't, this is not, and yada, yada, yada. But you were being told that these were crossed up dogs. They're even more crossed up now. I mean, as far as how long do they live, I can't really tell you how long do they live. I can just tell you about the ones that have died young. And there's been many that are died young. And uh, there's been a, there's a whole lot right now that are uh, still living. They are still living. Needless to say, they're still crossed up dogs. They're still crossed up dogs. No matter what, they're still crossed up dogs. <clears throat> yeah, they still crossed up dogs. How can you get mad at an original American bully breeder for first of all, their name, which is American Bully. That's that's the original people's name. That's their name, period. You know, if you was going to create a new dog, which, you know, most of us don't have no problem with right now today with the creation of a new dog. But when you think they would have had to create a new name? I mean, because it's only right because you got one side saying that this is not an American bully. These dogs that are being created on this side over here are American bullies. Well, don't you think that they should be able to keep their name at least? You know what I'm saying? And if, and if you come up with a new dog, then you have to call it something new? I think that. Maybe that would cause, maybe that would take away a lot of the confusion. You know, maybe that would take a, away a lot of the animosity that's being built up and a lot of, you know, Hatred that's coming for these dogs. Because first of all, okay, the dog has been made new. We clearly know that Bulldog has been added. We clearly know that. The Pug has been added. The Pekingese, the Shih Tzu. All that's added. The Band Dog been added, but somebody probably re-added it again. The Connie Corso, the Great Dane, you know. There's dogs. That's been added to the bully that wasn't really, really from the gate supposed to be there, says the people who bred the dog, not me, says the people who bred the dog. See, I'm a bully owner. I didn't breed this dog. I've been owning a bully for a long time. I ain't never owned no small one. We ain't never owned small bullies. I mean... Be truthful, we don't never knock dogs, and we ain't knocking your small dog. But there had to be a way the dog got here. And by people, you know what I'm saying, who grew up with dogs that want to tell you, hey, man, we've been breeding dogs for a long time. They never got small. There was always a dog called a runt. But you never seen small-ass dogs come out of the litter. And if you did, you know what I'm saying, then you know you had to put some type of cross up in there because there was crosses all the way around. Now you're seeing Chinese Sharpay crosses. Yeah, man, like bullies cross to the Chinese Sharpay. This dog looked funny. And you sit here and you call it an American bully. You know, if you want to create your own dog, that should be fine. Ain't nobody can stop you from creating your own dog. But just out of respect for the bully and the, and, and the people that bred this dog, Shouldn't they have a right if they don't want to uh, put Bulldog in a dog and they didn't start off with Bulldog in a dog and it's not on the standard? Shouldn't they have a right to say, hey, change your dog name then if you don't want us talking about your dog and saying yada, yada, yada about your dog? Because most of the time, the dogs 
bumping heads, they start bumping heads with each other. I really think it's because of the name. The new dogs, yeah, they are here, but the new dogs are labeled American Bully. I mean, damn, you want your cake and ice cream and eat it too. You want your uh you want your you want your brand new dog, but you want to take the old school name. It's a brand new dog. So how can it have an old school name? It has to have a it has to have a new name. Maybe that would take away a lot of confusion. Maybe that would take it away, okay? Because me, myself, personally, I don't want to see y'all beefing, man. I don't want to see no bully breeders beefing, fighting, talking about each other. We don't need all of that. But when it comes to the dog, if you want to talk about the dog, talk about the dog. If somebody actually say, hey, man, you know, this dog didn't start off from a bulldog, so why is it a bulldog now? A person shouldn't be able to, to, to not talk about something that he just bought. If I just bought something, I should be able to talk about it. A lot of people are buying American bullies. Why can't they talk about the dog? Why can't they talk about the dog not having a bulldog lineage? And the dog just now acquiring a bulldog lineage. And if they say that, then a lot of people get mad. And, and you know, the excuse is we wanted to uh, calm the dogs down. Our dogs were fighting a lot. We come home to dead dogs, which... <laughs> That's kind of hard to fucking believe right there. You was coming home to dead dogs. I mean, you was breeding pit bulls then. You know what I mean? You you wasn't breeding... Uh, what dogs you was coming home to, they were dead. See, that's another thing. I asked that one guy, show me a kennel that has killer American bullies in it. He never showed me. Now, I could ask a few breeders, which one of you guys got some of them pictures and things? To show us y'all was coming home to yards full of dogs dead. Because Razor's Edge dogs was fighting. Man, shit. The Edge dogs that I had, they loved each other. They stayed in the backyard. That was just it. That's the end of the story. I ain't even got to make up nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't even got to make up nothing. That's the end of the story. I just think that if you're going to create a new dog, you should create a new name. The dog that you created and you put on a poster, I guess, this is the now the face of the bully. Nobody wanted Razor's Edge to be the face of the bully when it's been the face of the bully for the last 20 years. Like, how you gonna change something after 20 years, man? 20 years. And then you decide to change it. And then when somebody get mad about it, you want to speak on it and say that they... They are practically hating. Somebody told me I was demeaning them because I told them that a lot of the dogs are mutts. You, you want to say that we're demeaning people who are breeding newer, newer dogs because your newer dog, don't, it does not look like a razor's edge dog. And then if somebody said don't, well, we're, we're beyond that dog. Damn. We're beyond that dog. It's just crazy how the fuck you can get beyond the dog when the German Shepherd stayed the same. The Rottweiler stayed the same. The Bloodhound stayed the same. But the Bully, it didn't stay the same. And then, well, we wasn't done. We were still under construction. See, we was building for 20 years. But we wasn't done. So we doubled back on the edge and threw some bulldog off in there. Because, you know, you, you didn't want a yard fight. How the fuck you going to tell me what I want? And how you going to tell me what I got? I never got a yard fight. If you had a thousand dogs out there and they was fighting, shit, that's your fault. That is literally your fault. These dogs ain't really supposed to be on chains or in cages, but, you know, you're supposed to have cages for these dogs. But they so nice, you can just let them go. You can look on YouTube right now and see a yard full of Rottweilers eating a big old, big old dead animal. And they not fighting. These dogs were just on dog food and they were fighting. 
Maybe because they were starving. Sometimes you got to blame the owner and not the dog. You just got to blame the owner. Hey, shit, Bright Eyes, she is a little food aggressive. I ain't going to lie. Bright Eyes is a little food aggressive. She might attempt to get at a dog if I'm not standing there. If I'm standing right there, she, she has this look about herself. She'll look at the dog in his eyes, you know, but then I'll say stop or something because I know she's getting ready. That's the look, you know, I'm getting ready to hit you. You know, that's that's a bully. That's a bully right there. That's a dog that's like, you can't even eat out my bowl. You can't eat out my bowl. She going to hit you right now. You can't eat out my bowl. She protects that bowl. That's a bully. <laughs> that is an American bully. American bullies can jump gates. They can, they can scale a gate. They can go over a gate. They can do agility. And I'm not saying that none of them extreme dogs can't do agility. But damn, it's an extreme dog. It's really not an American bully. You added something to it. But you, you'll get mad if somebody says it's not an American bully. Damn, that's like a catch-22. You know, damn if you don't, and damn if you damn not do. You know what I'm saying? It's like a catch-22. So now, so now I have to be forced to breed a bulldog? Is that, what, is that what's going on? Am I being forced to, be, to, to add bulldog to my program? And, and am I being told it's okay? Am I being told this? Because I'll add a bulldog to my program and put him on the paperwork and send it right to the ABKC and say, hey, it's a new dog. We bring new dogs right now. It's a new dog right here. So it's a bully cross to the bulldog and it should be registered as bulldog or a bully, an American bully. Because that's basically what's happening. That's basically what's happening. You got dogs with different colors. Whoa. Whoa. Like they didn't came out lilacs and trilacs. That's a different color from a different dog. It had to be a different dog to introduce that color. They got testicle. They still in these colors from the French Bulldog because the French Bulldog has also been destroyed. The French Bulldog that you see is not the original French Bulldog, but it's going to have papers that say AKC papers, but that's not our original French Bulldog. They don't even throw pie dogs no more. They don't even throw brindle dogs no more. Don't even throw them. Don't even throw them. They throw fluffy. Like just out of the air, fluffy just became everywhere. And now one person got the, the you know, paperwork saying we had this, these two dogs tested, Embark tested to see if they was uh, fluffy carriers. Well, they've been fluffy carriers for the last 15, 20,000 years. You guys just didn't know. You had to, you had to breed them the right way. The right way. Okay. <laughs> you had to breed them the right way. The American Kennel Club wasn't breeding it right. No, no, they were breeding show dogs. They were breeding dogs that walk around the flow and do their thing, end up on an Alpo bag or something. That's the dog. They end up on, you know, Good Day America, ABC News, Worldwide. Yeah, man. That's where they end up at. But they got pushed to the back from Merle. They got pushed to the back for a blue dog. They got pushed to the back for a sable. Okay. Now they didn't got pushed to the back for chocolates. So fuck the American Kennel Club dogs, right? This our shit. This what we do. I understand because I like the dogs too and I'm going to get a lot of them. I'm going to have a lot of those little dogs just like y'all, man. But damn, where is the respect? Huh? You know those dogs are French Bulldogs and they come from the AKC? Well, 
Don't you think, well, they, you know, they probably did change their name. They said exotics. So they did change their name. Huh. Well, change your paperwork, too. Facts. Change your paperwork because uh, your paperwork still say American Kennel Club on it. But your dog is testicle. Your dog is phantom. Your dog is platinum. Platinum? What the fuck made platinum? Where you get that from? You won't tell nobody where you got it from. And then y'all come with this stuff. Well, you have to have big B and little b. And you have to have little c and small f. Man, don't nobody know what the hell you talking about. They might pretend, look that shit up on the internet and say, okay, that's what you're supposed to have. After you done bred a whole lot of dogs already. And you can only get this color if you got small d mixed to little d. And then you got to, what the fuck? You can't have BB because BB is just going to give you all black. You got to have, you know, it has to be recessive. <laughs> recessive. If it was recessive, they'd still be throwing pie dogs. If it was recessive, you'd still be seeing brindle dogs. If it was recessive. You know what I mean? And that's just truth, man. I mean, the mixing of the dogs is what got everybody on the edge right now. It's a bad thing. It really is. It's a bad thing to see the American bully dog just totally at war, man. Totally at war. Y'all like my cup? That's my $20 coffee cup from my home girl, Sarah Flack. She made me pay $20 for that. <laughs> she didn't make me do shit, but she was struggling that day, so I, and she needed some money, and I needed a cup of coffee. So I bought a $20 cup of coffee in a frozen cup from her. Helped her put some gas in her car that day. She even had a boyfriend that day and he wasn't even giving her no bread, mamas. But you know how, you know how, you know us bully breeders, we got nice hearts. Our hearts are pure. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're a real pure dude. You know what I mean? I'm a real pure guy. So you know what I mean? Back to the dogs. We got... <laughs> We got to keep it D.O.G., man. We got to keep it D.O.G. And that's the reason, though, man. That is real. That is the real reason why it's like a major uproar in the bully world right now. Because, you know, people feel shitted on, man. Some of the originals, they feel like, man, you just came in, totally destroyed the dog, and then trying to tell us that we got to accept that shit. So you telling me that I can literally go and breed a bulldog to my dog. Because if I'm accepting it, then that's what the fuck I can do. Because that's what's in your dog. It's a bulldog. So, you know, now it's, it's cool to have bulldogs in the paperwork. Like, I, you know, I mean, I, it ain't never a bulldog on the paperwork. And the dogs just changed and can't, became new. And it ain't never a bulldog on the paperwork. How the hell did it become new? You hiding the sauce. You hiding the ingredients. What's up with the sauce, man? We, we, we on some new stuff now. The masses don't want to show the sauce. They say the sauce was pure bully, and that's a pure lie. That is. You know that. You know that's a lie. That's another thing that's causing confusion. You didn't put the sauce on the paperwork. You know, the Pekingese, the French Bulldog, the Shih Tzu, the Pug. The sauce, it ain't on there. <laughs> we don't know how to make it. So we making it our own fucking way. Like I always do about this time. Welcome to another episode of Face the Bully. <laughs> Where I like to talk about dogs. Preferably your dog and mine. I got a damn lilac sitting outside. I didn't grow in no lilac pits. I grow with red brindles, gold brindles, red nose pit bulls, 
before the blues came out, it was red nose pit bull everything. Red nose pit bull everything. Now you got small ass dogs that can't even crawl. <laughs> and we gotta and we gotta accept that shit and say it's bully. Well then, if it's bully, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you. If it's bully, and it's being labeled as bully and accepted as bully, then I'm gonna go get me one of these old street pit bulls. I'm gonna breed his ass straight to a fucking French bulldog and put it on the paperwork and send the paperwork in to the ABKC. Because the dogs got bulldog in them, so why we can't put them on the paperwork, man? Let's see the bulldog that bred that motherfucker on the paperwork. That's what I'm saying. Then we can see that the dog has changed. Other than that, I can't see the dog has changed either. I just see a bunch of cheating. And then, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, that people want to say that we have to agree with it. I understand that uh, American Bully Dog is a violent motherfucker when it want to be. Shit. Razor's Edge? Yeah. You can take them. You can damn near take them hog hunting. A Razor's Edge? Hell yeah, man. You can damn near take that dog hog hunting, man. Go out there and snatch that hog up. He won't kill him or nothing, but he'll hold him by his ear until you come. Facts. But the newer dogs, they get that, that hog, a boar, might whoop him. Might do something bad to him. Put them tusks on him. And he won't even be able to get away. <laughs> he won't even be able to get away. He, I'm telling you, he, his legs too short. He weigh 120 pounds. He ain't got no, no neck, just head and shoulders. Big old 50, 30 pound head. He got a head that's 36 inches. And his boards is getting on him. Smashing him. Putting them tusks all over him. You think your dog can hang? If he can hang, he American Bully. American Bullies would have went in there and hung with that boar and hung with that pig and went out and, you know, got that pig, man. See, this is the stuff that's been taken away, you know, when you added the bulldog. When you added the bulldog, you took away the hog hunting. There's no more hog hunting. Prob and, you know, a lot of them ain't got no more agility contests. No more agility contests. That's over. This comes from adding the bulldog. I like the bulldog. I've always loved me a bulldog. But, you know, crossbreeding is what it is, man. Crossbreeding. When you have a, like me, I got a mixed up kid. His mama is white. But he don't go around telling people he's black. <laughs> I'm for real. He don't. He really don't. When you ask him, he say, hi, my name's Dallin. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a little black kid, huh? Well, my mom's white and my dad's black. He says it on his own. Didn't even have to teach him. He already knew he wasn't one or the other. He was both. His daddy was black. His mama was white. If my son know you both, he only 13... I don't know how no breeder don't know that you didn't bred both of these genes up in here and you, you're still calling it a bully. And it can't even dance. It can't do nothing. Now, if it can do something, that's the part you need to post. You need to post them out there in, in, in the woods when it's cold. Running after a pig. And people will stop talking crazy about the dog. But they're going to keep talking crazy about that dog if he's non-comparable to the dog that you... Just messed up to make him, you know what I'm saying, what he is today. If he can't compete with the edge, how can you be mad at the edge? How can you say anything about the edge when this dog can't even compete with edge? He can't even compete. He ain't got no drive, man. I'm barking. Roo, 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 sitting there going crazy. Roo, roo. That's not competition with no edge. That's just barking. Make them go. Let them go. Take the chain off of them. Let them go. Now make them bark. Now let's see that barking. You feel me? Because that's what you're going to see out of Edge. Pure dog going to go get something. Then we messed it up to put Bulldog in it. I hope you like it.
because a lot of people don't. But if you're going to change the dog, show some respect to the old dog by at least letting them have their name. What was their name? The American Bully. Razor's Edge. That shit that came first. And this is... <laughs> Face the Bully.